Hello friends, my name is Dr. Gaurav Agrawal. I am working at Children Heart Care Delhi. Today I will discuss in brief about one procedure known as the balloon atrial septostomy in short form BAS, B-A-S. One 15 days old newborn came to us with signs of increasing bluishness or cyanosis with signs of metabolic acidosis. Patient was in shock like state. When we did echo and we found there is a, a, a form of cyanotic heart disease known as the transposition of great vessels or TGA in which there is uh, pure blood goes directly to the lungs instead of supplying blood to the body in which there is a mixing is required for survival of the patient. For mixing there can be three types of hole. One is PFO between two upper chambers of the heart or atrial septal defect as shown in this picture. And there can be ventricular septal defect in uh, the hole between two lower chambers of the heart or it can be in the form of PDA between two great vessels of the heart. But in this child there was only PFO that was only 2 mm in size that was not compatible for survival for mixing of the blood. So and the patient was sick so we cannot send directly for the surgery. So we did a procedure known as the balloon atrial septostomy in which we took the vessels from the thigh and we enter into the heart. We place a balloon as shown in this running video clip uh, across this hole and we just do a brisk movement of the hand and we increases the size of this PFO from 2 mm to uh, 5 to 6 mm by doing this balloon procedure. This is a palliative procedure not a permanent solution. Uh, before procedure, the saturation of the child was 50 to 55 percent, normal is more than 97 to 100 percent and after the procedure, the saturation rose up to 80 to 85 percent. We stabilized the child for next 3 to 4 days and we did a final operation on this patient known as the arterial switch operation or ASO. Now the child is grown up and it is, uh, the child is around 1 to 2 years of age and is doing well. The, my message from this video is by doing this procedure we can save many of the lives of the newborns and this procedure is generally done in newborn phase but ideally it should be done by before first in first seven days of the life but the patient presented uh, late to us so we tried this option in this patient also for more detail you can log into my website childrenheartcare.com thank you very much